So sometimes uh, in my tutorials, I'm, uh, I have a physical camera that's showing what I'm doing in, in the real world uh, in conjunction with the uh, screen capture. So just to show you how I do that, um, I'm using a, uh, a max patch and, um, and I'm just making this extra window float. So uh, what I'm doing is I have this uh, jit.qt grab and I'm opening it at first and uh, I'll get a, um, it's either the input list or the dev list and uh, out of here it'll route to the, uh, to the different options I have so in this case it's actually using the MacBook Pro's camera but if I had a webcam hooked up then I would be able to um, use that and so all this extra stuff uh, is I mean, if you did it, then you could probably look into it. The only the only thing I would um, probably specify would be the attribute uh, object, and that's attaching to the JIT dot window, and that just gives you the different options. There are a bunch of different options here, um, but I can make it float, which means that it is going to be in front of uh, mainly this max patch. When other patches come along, um, they'll actually go in front of it. Which oh no, I guess it'll. It'll be in front of other Max patches, but um, it won't be in front of other programs, I don't believe. Let's uh, try grabbing Firefox right now. Yeah, so other programs will go above it. Um, so if I wanted to uh, have it not be in front of my Max patch, then I could turn that off. Uh, I can also give it a border, and I can just make it visible or not visible. Um, I feel like there's a better option in here. Than just making it visible, not visible. Uh, but if you're interested, then try it out, and I hope it was helpful. See you later.